Hello everyone, welcome back to Keto Blogging and today I am going to show you how you can create a HTML sitemap in your WordPress website without using any plugin. So we are going to use some code snippet to generate HTML sitemap in WordPress website. So I recently made a video on how to create HTML sitemap for blogger and where I showed you four different style of HTML sitemap and in this video I will show you five different style of HTML sitemap that you can use in your WordPress website so you can use it according to your preference so let's get started so to add the HTML sitemap in WordPress all you have to do is use a code manager plugin so that it will help you manage your code in one place so here in this case I am using the WP code light plugin so this is a popular code manager plugin all you have to do is just go to add new plugin and here you need to search for WP code and you need to install and activate this plugin WP code and after that we can proceed to the next step. So first of all we need to go to the code snippet option and let's click on add snippet. Now let's click on use snippet and here you need to select the universal snippet option and here we are going to use the first one fill save filter option with HTML sitemap. So let me copy the code here and all you have to do is paste the code and you can name it like sitemap and let's click on activate scroll down switch to short code and let's click on save bit now let's scroll down and let me copy the short code from here and let's go to the pages section and let's create a new page called sitemap so i can name it like sitemap or i can name it like html sitemap and let me paste that short code and let me publish it and let's check how this html sitemap looks in the front end so let me click on here and as you can see that this is how the html sitemap looks like where you have the same fill size option that we get in blogger website as well so you can see you can filter out different categories and you can further change the layout of this page so let me switch to the narrow layout let me change it to on box layout and let me hit save and let me refresh it and as you can see that we have the html sitemap added to our wordpress website and here you can see switch between different categories and see all of the blog post so let's move on to the next style so for this all you have to do is just go back just go to the code snippet options and here you will see the sitemap code so let me quickly click on edit and here we need to change the code so for this let me try the second code here and let me copy it and let me paste it and let's hit update now let me refresh this page and as you can see that this is how the second style looks like here we have the same peel size option but the list is a little bit different here you will see a card like layout you can see the page title and the category links now let's switch to the third one so let me click on here and let me change the code here now let's hit update and let me refresh this page and you can see that this is how the HTML sitemap looks like. So this is a plain HTML sitemap where you will get a drop down option with your category and you can select the drop down and it will show all of the blog post within that category. So let's switch to the next one. So I will click on simple category filter. Let me copy it and let me change it here and let's hit update. Now let me refresh it and as you can see that this is how the category filter looks like. So we have the same list element but with the button style. So let's click on here and you can see all of the blog post within that category. Now let's move on to the final option. So let me select here and let me copy it. Now let's change that and let's hit update. Now let me refresh it. 
and as you can see that we have the images showing in the HTML sitemap page. So you can see all of the images and this blog post doesn't have a feature image. That's why it is showing the blank option here. Otherwise all these blog posts have feature image. So it will showing like this. So you can check this is fully mobile responsive as well. So you can see all of the categories in a nice list format. And when you click on here, it will show all of the blog posts under that category. So this is how you can add five different type of HTML sitemap to your WordPress website. So if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button so that it motivates me to create more such videos like this. So let me know how you like this HTML sitemap and what are the improvement you need. And also tell me on which topic you want me to make videos next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.